Good afternoon. It's Monday, the 27th of July, 2020. After a hot and humid weekend, we have a gorgeous day out there again. Lovely temperatures, blue sky, just a real blessed day, and I hope and pray that you find time to enjoy it. Just a couple of announcements um, before we go forward today. A reminder that um, next Sunday is the 1st of August, and that means we switch our worship times. First Lutheran will be worshiping at 8.30 in the morning, and St. Paul's will be worshiping at 10.30. Right now, because of the spike in the virus, uh, I am going to suspend Holy Communion, at least for the first Sunday in August and perhaps for the whole month. It's just one more contact point that I think for right now we can eliminate and wait until the numbers stabilize or go back down. We have made a few changes in how we do worship and that's because we want to make sure that people remain safe. So far I think we're doing fine. I don't think we're going to need to go back to uh, online only. But if that is the case, in my judgment, by the end of the week or the first of next week, that, that the virus is, is posing a real risk by simply gathering together, then we will certainly consider online services only. I think those are the announcements necessary at this time. I want to share um, a passage from Matthew's Gospel. This is the end of the Gospel, chapter 28, starting at verse 18. And Jesus said to them, all authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Go, therefore, and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all that I have commanded you, and, lo, I am with you to the close of the age. These are your words, Heavenly Father. Sanctify us in truth. Your word is truth. Amen. I've been thinking about our fall education ministry a great deal in the last couple of weeks. How we're going to do it, if we can do it, and if we can do it, what shape will it take? Uh, each congregation, of course, has its own um, educational ministry. First Lutheran, in cooperation with the congregations in McGregor, is working in Footsteps to Faith, and that's been a very good program, very successful program. Uh, St. Paul's has the more traditional Sunday school, which has always worked for us as well, too. Of course, the question is, can we or will we be able to have classes this fall? Now, public schools are going back to classes with a variety of options and plans, each district doing something that works best in their district, but is not what the next district over is doing. And so it's probably going to be a time of experimentation in the fall for the school districts, as well as a time of real soul searching for us in our educational ministry. One of my main concerns is the teaching of Confirmation and First Communion. Those classes are obviously done um, together in person, although we finished out Confirmation last year online, and while it was not ideal, it did work. This year's confirmation will mean there are two students from First Lutheran who are of confirmation age, and I believe we'll have five or six at St. Paul's. The challenge, of course, is getting both classes taught so that they're getting the most out of the time together. Um, holding a, an abbreviated class at First Lutheran is not helpful for the confirmation there, and they, I think, always went a little behind in terms of lessons with the kids at St. Paul's. So what I'm thinking I'm going to be doing this fall is we're going to use the opportunity of the technology that we have. Let's say if one class is meeting with me in person, the other class will meet in a Zoom meeting online at that time. And I hope and pray that will work. We'll be trying that out this fall. That way we will both have time together, although not always physically together, but at least we'll be sharing the same lesson and um, have the opportunity to see one another in the different parishes. And so I'm hoping that will work. What we need from our congregations and our members is your prayers. Um, 
like a lot of institutions, we are heading into unknown territory and it is going to be a challenge. But our Lord has commanded us to teach the faith. And as Lutheran Christians, we have taken that command very seriously. And so we will teach the faith. We will do it as best we can so that everybody learns as much as they can about the Savior. And we'll use whatever resources God provides us. We are grateful that we can do this sort of thing in this day and age, that we can continue teaching and learning even when it's not safe or practical to be together. And for that, I think we need to give God thanks. So let's pray a bit. Our Heavenly Father, we give you thanks that we can learn about you. And even in the middle of a pandemic, we can find ways to teach our children and one another the important things of the faith so that we all grow deeper and deeper into your love and your purpose. We pray for an end to the pandemic, an opportunity to come together faithfully and to deepen our knowledge and understanding of you and your purposes for the world. For all these things, Father, we give you thanks. We ask it all in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, I hope you can enjoy the rest of the day, and I look forward to seeing you again tomorrow. Until then, goodbye now.